Good morning, welcome back to another video. It is Friday morning, 10 o'clock. We're getting ready to head out of town to go camping again this weekend. It is Labor Day weekend. Johnny's birthday was yesterday and we filmed yesterday too. So make sure you guys check out the last video. It was super fun going hiking at Silver Falls. Um, but we just finished getting everything ready. I think we just have like our one last minute basket. Can you go and lock the door, Grandma's here? My mom just got here. Um, I think we just have like our one last minute basket of stuff we have to put in to the trailer. My mom just got here. She's going camping with us this weekend. Um, but I'm super excited to show you guys some new Brewmate stuff that I just got in. Um, I wanna say thank you to Brewmate for sponsoring this video this weekend. But this stuff is gonna be so perfect for fall because it is this like super pretty gold color leopard like 3D print. My favorite one that I got from this collection is definitely the Toddy XL. It is such a good size. You guys know me and my constant ice water. So it has the hole here for just drinking out of, but I stuck a straw in there. But I'm super happy to have this giant cup now for my ice water or well, coffee, whatever it may be. Um, but then you guys have heard me talk about the Hopsolator Slim in other videos. In our last camping video, you guys saw me using this, but look how pretty this gold leopard is. I just can't get over it. So they make insulated can coolers and drinkware for all your drinking needs. They have products for beer, wine, coffee, water, any beverage you can think of. These keep your drinks real nice and cold. Also keeps your drinks warm, so you guys can use these year round just like I do. They're made from insulated stainless steel, so they literally, like, they keep your drinks so cold or warm. So you guys will definitely have to check out the website because there's tons of different options on there and all different sorts of products, too. There's a triple layer construction, so that means that you're not gonna have any condensation. There's also a no-slip base on the bottom of all these. Look at how cute this champagne flute is, and then the hopsolator. I had this on the boat last weekend and it works great and then also um, this one I've been using this one like every single day and it's nice that it has that um, look at how cute this wine one is this is a new hopsolator trio and it's the world's only three-in-one can cooler and now it comes with a hundred percent leak proof lid so it fits all your favorite 16 ounce cans and comes with an adapter for 12 ounce cans also so this can be used for 16 ounce cans if you take that little deal out of the bottom there you can use this for like tall boys you know like 16 ounce cans but then you can also use it for your standard um, 12 ounce can too it'll go in there and then this one you can use as a cup with this attachment or you can add the lid to the top of it or you can add this and use it with your 16 ounce can also so there's so many different options and then the hops later slim you can do your 12 ounce slim cans like for your sparkling water or truly's white claws whatever in those so with all that being said definitely be sure to check the link in the description box i will have a discount code for you guys that is good for 48 hours after you're seeing this video so definitely be sure to snag some brewmate products for yourself like i said my favorite ones are definitely the hopsolator slim and then the toddy xl because i love constantly having my ice water with me and i love that this has a handle on it or you can do your big iced coffee or your mixed drink in there, whatever you wanna do. So definitely be sure to check out Brewmate. And now with that being said, I'm gonna pack up these items that I wanna take camping with us and it's time to hit the road. Just have to throw the cooler into the trailer. And then we are good to go. Now that we have so many dirt bikes, we have to put our generator in the trailer when we pack it up. And then we got my mom's propane for her fire pit. She brought her fire pit because you can't do like an actual um, fire, like, you know, make a fire right now because of the fire danger, and, like embers can fly off and start a wildfire, but you can do like propane fire. So she brought her fire pit so we can still do s'mores and like sit by the fire. Anyway, so we just have like a, all the kids' bikes and stuff in here this time too. So we're gonna have to do from now on just because we have so many dirt bikes in the back of the pickup. But we're headed off. Did you duct tape the fridge? Okay. 
we have to duct tape the fridge and put a bungee because sometimes the door likes to fly open while we're driving. So now it doesn't. <laughs> the joys of having an old trailer, but we love it so much. We got the boys in here all loaded up, ready to go. Berkeley is riding with my mom because she wanted to. <laughs> my mom's going camping with us. Um, this is kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but the last camping trip that we took with my mom and my stepdad together before their accident was Labor Day weekend last year to the exact same spot that we're going to today. So it's just like a little sentimental, like that's why we're going camping again, the same exact spot this weekend is because it's just like, a, I don't know, one year since our last camping trip with Papa Keith. And so we're just going back to the same place and I don't know, feeling a little, I mean, I'm excited to go obviously, but just like feeling some type of way about it. Just, just sucks. All right, we just stopped off so that way um, the kids could go potty. They all had to go. So I'm sitting here in the truck. My mom is taking Berkeley potty. She just pulled up a park right next to us. We're just at the rest stop. Typically we would just like pull off on the side of the road and we would either use the trailer bathroom or obviously the boys can just go outside. Um, but right when they had to go, there was like this rest stop. So we just pulled in here. So they all went to the bathroom but it is so, so smoky. And last weekend when we were camping, we were not too far from like where this rest stop is. And it was really smoky from the fires in, I believe the smoke is from the fires in Northern California, but then there's also fires in an a, a fire here in Oregon that I know of. Um, and I think the smoke just gets like trapped in this Canyon right here. I, I could be wrong, but that's what I think the situation is. Cause it is so, smoke it's like flashbacks to last summer when there was crazy crazy fires here in Oregon like right like literally right here like it's all burnt everywhere right here yes. all right potty break complete now we can get back on the road on the road again Just got to our spot. So beautiful. Just got the trailer unhooked. Kids are helping Donnie level it. Good job, baby. I am gonna make some sandwiches for everyone. We just got to camp. We just got to camp. Why don't you just go see if Grammy needs any help? Okay. okay. Everybody's eating. Cashy boy. Mom got music on. <laughs> the 
kids. We gotta get all of our chairs set up. So there's this saying, pack it in, pack it out. When you go camping, hiking, anywhere in nature, if you bring something with you, you take it with you. And there's literally, there's trash everywhere. Everywhere. So we are gonna pick it all up. Did you have a popsicle? I couldn't tell. <laughs> but I just had it. I know, but your face is all red. Kashi. And also, my tongue is red. Ah, what'd you eat in Grammy's car on the way here? Jerky. My Jerky. Is orange. Yeah, it is. Anyway. <laughs> Regular. Anyways, what I was saying is, there's seriously trash all over the place. Somebody even left this bunch of it's seriously like broken stuff that they just left here so trash all in this little which you're not even supposed to have like an actual fire right now but whoever was here last left all this junk so my mom brought her fire pit that we're gonna use because you're you can have like propane but look at all that okay. yeah this is not you're not supposed to burn that kind of stuff. You're not supposed to burn plastic or... No, but you still think it's okay to put trash here and then leave it. Like, yeah. That's a garbage can. Yeah, not cool. Not cool. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, on a lighter note, it is beautiful blue skies. It's warm though. It's pretty dang warm. My feet are sweaty because I put my extra tufts on because it's so dusty out here. <laughs> my feet are like sweaty. I need to put... Uh, so the shorts on. Donnie's got his Crocs on. His feet are gonna be mud. Oh, look at this, look at his ankle. He got stung by a bee yesterday. It's very swollen. When we were hiking yesterday. Um, Before we even started. Yeah, he walked over to the pay station to pay when we were parking and he came back, he's like, I literally was just standing there waiting to pay and a bee stung me on my ankle. We're set up, mom's got music on. I said, mom has music on. She's. <laughs> <laughs> He's dancing. So anyway, so uh, we got Cashy under the trailer in the shade. We got our table set up. Oh, geez, watch out for this rock right here. Actually, I mean, we camped on top of that last year. Did you? Was your your tent was like right where our trailer is, yeah. huh? Uh huh. We we flip flap sides. Mom and Keith's tent was here last year, and we were right where her car is. Is that a bee on me? Ah! It's a fly. Oh, okay. Oh, Bear Bear's here. Don't anybody worry. Bear Bear's here. <laughs> yeah.
change and it's starting to get pretty smoky, unfortunately. Yeah, so we covered it up so that way you guys can take your shoes off before you get in. I think I should raise it up a little bit. Why don't you guys get out and I'll raise it up a little, okay? She let off the throttle at least when she fell over. Hey sister, nice work. <laughs> that was good. But sometimes they're the realest things to ever come your way. Cause you know.
40 degrees. We're all just getting up. I'm getting ready to make breakfast. It's really smoky. And it says that air quality is hazardous. So that's Made great. Thanks for getting that going and chopping the wood. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to make some breakfast though. So let's do that. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I should ever let you go. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. No, I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without. Okay. We found a, a couple of good spots. The spot that we're at is awesome, but it's super, super dusty. That's what we found. So, yeah. Oh, you got pitch on there on the end of your stick? I did. That was my stick. So that you're healing? Half got pitch on there. Well, what do you want me so to for it. protecting and healing. Awesome. Two things in one. Anyways, just right down the little road from where we're camping. We found a couple other spots that are way better contenders next time. Daddy saw another timber tiger. <laughs> Brody, you want to tell us what a timber tiger is? A timber tiger is, is and no, it sounds scary, but, but they're one of tiny chipmunks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's scary, but oh, it's I that see it. I see it over there. Timber tiger. Yep. That tiny little tiger. <laughs> All right, we all just got cleaned up, got ready, and um, I just threw on that. We're gonna go to town. Usually whenever we camp 
right here in this spot. We go to town and take the kids to the playground. Probably gonna get a coffee oh, yeah. at Dutch Bros. And then um, we might go to the lake a little bit later because it's supposed to warm up some, but I don't look like a bridge troll now. <laughs> I was looking a little rough this morning. You weren't. I love it. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> He's so dirty. We gotta sweep him off. Jazzy boy. <laughs> he likes it. Alright, we went to Dutch Bros and I got a cinnamon swirl oat milk latte. Look how good that looks. It's not even a Dutch Bros cup. What the heck? I know, that's how my last one was. Alright, we made it to the playground. We're gonna go play with our coffees in hand. Alright, so since we were in town, we decided we're gonna come get some lunch. Possibly at Three Creeks. Donnie, just switch. Oh. Okay. Well, I should have showed everyone's food, but it's all gone now. But it was good. All right, we just got back to camp and we're trying to decide if we're gonna stay or if we're gonna go home. It's 1.30, like 1.45 or something like that. We went to the playground, got coffee, went and got lunch. Since we were in town, we decided to just go get lunch. And we were planning on coming back and changing and going to go into the lake. We were gonna go to Subtle Lake and go swim. Um, but it is so incredibly smoky and it continues to get worse. <clears throat> we're all like coughing, um, kind of like dry throat. All of our eyes are just like super dry and we're all like sniffling. This, the air quality is unhealthy. Um, and it's like towards the lake, that direction back west, it's like even smokier. Like you can see it off in a the distance. It's just like thick smoke. So we're discussing if we're going to stay or we're going to start packing up and head back home. So super bummer but i will keep you guys posted well we decided to pack it up it's just getting too smoky over here unfortunately with all the fires from northern california and there's a fire by mount hood also so it's just it's all coming this way now Drown when you're in the lost and found Cause heartaches only last a day Berkeley's off with Grammy. She's gonna go have a sleepover with Grammy since our camping trip got cut short. Love you, sissy. Love you, baby. See you later, alligator. Bye, Tonya. Hi, Mom and Dad. I'm Brody. Bye. <laughs> Drive safe.
wait for me. Don't leave me. <laughs> All right, we are locked and loaded. Berkeley left with my mom probably 20 minutes ago. Probably just got everything packed. Look at how smoky it is, you guys. I think I don't even think it shows up on camera like as smoky as it actually is. And we kept checking the air quality before we left, and it was like clear and perfect, and it just kind of like followed us over the mountains. So we're gonna head home to good air quality, and all oh, my eyes are like burning. But we're gonna head home, so we will see you guys. Here. Subtle Lake, where we were gonna go swim, is like on the other side of these trees, basically. And look, it's like even more smoky right here. It should be like a sunny blue sky day, and it just is pure smoke. Probably won't even be able to see the lake when we look down there because it's so smoky. So, oh gosh, we even have the like recycle air deal on, and it's still like you can smell it in here. Look at that. to pure blue skies no smoke it was so bad you guys this is i'm so so thankful it's not smoky over here it was real bad but we're gonna i think just unpack a couple of things and then take care of the rest tomorrow we're tired we are gonna start the laundry though my arms are so full but i'm dropping my tennis shoes in here because they are filthy we've only been home for about i don't know 20 minutes, the boys have already showered and built a fort in their room. So they got chairs and blankets and my hair clips to hold the blanket on. So Donnie and I are working on unpacking the trailer, cleaning up a little bit, and then it's shower time, chill time. It is 5.40, I'm tired, but we're gonna get our work done and then call it a night so thank you guys so much for watching hanging out with us this weekend i hope you enjoyed this camping video and thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us we appreciate it i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss out on any of our future videos we love you guys and we'll see you next time bye see ya